So let's get cracking, shall we? Okay. First of all, we're going to make a nice simple circle shape like this. This is the starting of our character. Now, all we need are a couple of dots in the middle, and there we have it. We have eyes for our beautiful cartoon character. Next, we'll put the lug holes in, as we say in Sheffield, or ears, if you're not from Sheffield. There we go, and so we've got ears, we've got eyes, we'll stick a nose in for now, a nice simple one. And let's give him a smile. There. And we have now the basic beginnings of a cartoon character. I'll stick a couple of bits of hair in there too, give him some a little bit more. Now I'm going to put a new clean sheet of paper out there because I can, but if you've got space on yours, to draw more circles then please keep using your same paper for now because it's um, valuable stuff is that old paper in your house especially if you can't nip out to the shops so let's go with four different tish circle shapes these are our characters heads and we'll put the dots in in the middle for now there we go Noses. Noses come in different shapes and sizes, so we can have a nose that goes down. We can have a nose that goes to the side. A bit like Tintin, the character there, his nose is drawn by Hergé, and he has a nose like that. And dots for eyes. And we can have a nose like this, or if you wanted to, just a simple line. Doesn't matter. The great thing about cartooning is there are no rules. So we'll stick the ears in. Now with ears, like with humans and cartoon characters, we tend to keep them in line with the eyes. So if we could draw an imaginary line, you would get it straight through like that. And it just gives a bit of perspective, a bit of balance to your character's face. And ears don't have to be all the same size. They always can change in shape. And there we go, that's that basic thing there. And what we will do now is put a mouth in. So we'll give it a smile. We'll make him a little bit grumpy. And a, whoa, what have you seen? And it does not feel too well. And there we go, there's a simple way we can make our characters look different by changing noses and mouths and the shape of heads. And finally, one last change we'll do for today in this little short lesson, and number one is make one a boy and one a girl. And what I'll do, just to illustrate the magic of cartooning, we will keep the head exactly the same. So we'll even keep it somewhere else. And then for a boy, we'll just go a couple of lines like that. But for a girl, we start where the ear begins, up to the middle, now we go into the centre, we've got the girl's hair now, a little bobble, wow, wing it over like that, up, down, and there. And that is the conclusion for our first lesson. So, have a practice, changing the nose shapes, finding the way that Welcome to Pete McKee's Cartoon Workshop for Beginners and this is lesson number two and we're going to carry on developing our simple faces and expressions. So if you join me at the easel we'll carry on with our next lesson. Move these little characters out of the way from lesson number one. And now what we're going to do is show you another bit of cartoon magic. So we've got our four circles for our heads. It doesn't matter what shape yours are, as long as they sort of meet at the top somewhere. And we're going to just do dots now for the eyes, just to show you that this brilliant bit of magic. And here we go. We're going to include now eyebrows. Eyebrows 
give the character expression, give the character soul. So we can just do this. And we've already got someone who's worried. And we can do this. And we've got someone who's surprised. We've got someone there who's a little bit grumpy. Or they doubtful. And then if we go down like this, we have the classic angry. So now we have our characters who've got some emotion. Or if you look on your phone, they've got emojis. Like on the same principle, but we'll stick some noses in now just to give our character a little bit of development. There we go. And stick some ears in. Just nice and quickly for this one. Just show you those uh, amazing world of eyebrows and what we can do with them. And it just all helps to develop your character. Oh, look at that, got teeth. Okay, another great thing with doing this simple uh, version of heads is we can take our character through the ages. And we're not doing much different either when we do this. So you're a baby, babies have big foreheads. So we can stick the eyes at the bottom, tiny nose, and stick the ears where the eyes are in that line and we have a little baby then we grow up a little bit a few more years down the line we can make that nose a little bit bigger the heads the eyes in the middle a couple of things and the mouth just at the bottom there let's make it a teenager now so his ears have grown a little bit his hair has now gone a bit lanky and a bit greasy because teenagers don't like to have showers little dots and teenagers tend to be a little bit grumpy, don't they? Put a couple of dots in there. There we go, there's a teenager. And finally, we'll give it a dad. Now dads, their ears grow through the years. So do their noses. They always, like teenagers, can be a little bit grumpy, but they also have bags under their eyes. And something else that they lose, though, is their hair. So we just put the hair at the sides here, and maybe just one little, little curl out there or there, and we give him a grumpy dad. And there we have it. We have changed the age of our little character and just kept the shape and the dots. It's incredible. And we'll just do a couple of girls as well, just to show that difference. So we've got a, got a girl... We're doing our classic girl hair for now. We'll maybe just do one bunch. Round, a couple of zigzags. In we go. And then we'll just make this go a little bit older. Yes. And then we'll sweep the hair up. Try and do a little bit of a different hairstyle. Maybe go down a bit. She can have some nice eyebrows. A little bit bigger nose but we'll also put a mouth on now a mouth we can do by doing a line an m and a u there you are she's a little bit older so she's allowed to put lips to come and so there we have it there's lesson number two on how to develop your characters so join me for lesson number three and we'll put some bodies on these little guys and and keep enjoying yourself keep drawing have a good one. See you later.